Sometimes, houses contain the most unexpected finds. Just take it from these homeowners who were incredibly floored by what they found in their own homes. From wads of money to an expensive old blanket, here are 20 crazy things found in people's homes. Number 20. $500,000 discovered in a dilapidated house. They say finders keepers, but unfortunately, this isn't always the case in court. Perhaps that's why what was supposed to be a great find turned out to be a legal nightmare for these new homeowners. Just when these two homeowners thought they'd hit the jackpot, a double whammy came their way. In 2014, a case unfolded that revealed their worst nightmare. It all began when the new owners of a rundown house hired a contractor to renovate the property. During the renovations, a worker found four ammunition cans full of cash hidden inside a wall. You might dismiss it as rubbish, but inside was a staggering half a million dollars. Of course, this was enough to baffle the two. They probably thought about the ways in which they could use the money, but their dreams immediately turned into a nightmare. This case took a legal turn when it came to deciding who the rightful owner of the money was. The contractor and the employee initially found the money, but they weren't deemed entitled to keep it. The legal battle over the cash was complex and involved multiple parts, including the new homeowners and the estate of the original homeowner who had hidden the money. The old estate owner, Robert A. Spann, had a habit of hiding cash and other valuables in bizarre places in his home. His two daughters testified of this odd habit of his and claimed that even after seven years since he died in 2001, they found stocks and bonds and hundreds of military-style green ammunition cans hidden throughout his Paradise Valley home in Arizona. And so, when the past estate owners and his heirs caught wind of the money, they claimed it should be theirs. They claimed that when they sold the house, the money hidden in the walls was undiscovered at that time. The court ruled that the money was mislaid property, meaning that it still belonged to the estate of Span, since there was no intention to abandon it. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Charlotte Bronte's Ring In 2019, the Bronte Society rejoiced after discovering an important accessory that once belonged to the famous author, Charlotte Bronte, renowned as a significant novelist of the 19th century, is best known for her novel Jane Eyre. Born on April 21, 1816 in Thornton, Yorkshire, England, Charlotte was the eldest of three sisters who survived into adulthood and became celebrated authors. Her works are classics of English literature and are particularly notable for their strong narrative style and complex character development. Charlotte's upbringing was marked by tragedy and hardship. Her mother died when she was young, and two of her sisters died from tuberculosis, contracted due to poor conditions at their school. These experiences deeply affected Charlotte and influenced her writing. Despite these early hardships, Charlotte and her siblings developed a rich imaginative life, creating elaborate fictional worlds and stories. Charlotte's experiences at various schools, including the Clergy Daughters School of Lancashire and later at Pensionnat Heger in Brussels, significantly influenced her literary work, especially Jane Eyre. What set Charlotte Bronte apart from many women of her time was her strong determination to succeed in a male-dominated field. She initially published her works, including Jane Eyre, under the gender-neutral pen name Currer Bell to avoid the prejudices against female authors. Her hard work paid off as many deemed her book groundbreaking in its exploration of a woman's quest for freedom and self-realization, challenging the norms and expectations of the Victorian era. Her other notable works include Shirley and Villette, which also explore themes of gender, class, and the individual struggle against societal norms. Charlotte's writing often reflected her own life experiences and challenges, particularly her struggles with love, independence, and a role in society. Her experiences didn't differ that much from others at the time. However, she was among the few who used her art to speak out and boldly share her thoughts with others. And so people were quite surprised when one of her belongings was discovered in an attic. An unnamed woman from England was clearing out her late father-in-law's attic when she found a locked metal box. Inside it, was the precious ring. The piece might have seemed unremarkable at first glance, but upon closer inspection, she found an inscription with the name Bronte and a date, March 1855, which matches the time of Charlotte Bronte's death. The ring had a secret compartment that revealed plated hair, believed to be that of Charlotte Bronte herself. This discovery is not only fascinating, but also historically significant. 
During the 19th century, it was common to incorporate hair into jewelry as a way to remember deceased loved ones. This practice was prevalent before the advent of photography, serving as a tangible memory of the person who had passed away. The ring's value, initially modest due to its material, skyrocketed because of its association with Charlotte Bronte. Estimated at about 25 pounds or $32, the ring's value increased to around 20,000 pounds or $26,000 which isn't unusual considering its link to the famous author. Number 18. Precious Fabergé Figurine In 2013, a remarkable discovery was made in the attic of a house in Rhinebeck, New York, where a rare Fabergé figurine was found. This figurine was a hard stone figure commissioned by the last emperor of Russia, Nicholas II, in 1912. It portrays N.N. Pustinikov, the personal Cossack bodyguard to Empress Alexandra Fedorovna. The figurine, purchased at Hammer Galleries in New York City by George Davis in December 1934, has remained in the same family ever since. It was initially estimated to be worth between $500,000 to $800,000, but was sold at a record-breaking $5.98 million at an auction conducted by Stair Galleries in Hudson, New York. This price set a new world record for a Fabergé hardstone figure. The piece, made of jasper, sapphires, nephrite, sardonyx, purpurin, gold, enamel, and cachalong, a type of opal, is exceptionally rare. The total number of Fabergé hardstone carvings of human figures produced is believed to be no more than 50, making them incredibly scarce and comparable in rarity to the imperial Easter eggs by Fabergé. The Fabergé figurine was ultimately purchased by Wartsky, a London-based jeweler known for specializing in Russian pieces, particularly Fabergé. Wartsky, a key rival of Armin Hammer in the 1920s and 1930s, has a history of acquiring imperial Russian works of art by purchasing confiscated treasures from the Soviet government. It's unclear if Wartsky purchased the figure for stock or a private client, but their acquisition continues a tradition of owning rare hardstone figures and imperial Fabergé Easter eggs. Number 17. $26 million painting in the kitchen. Take a moment to inspect your kitchen. You could be in for a surprise, just like an elderly French woman who had this painting hanging in her kitchen for years without realizing its significance. In fact, it wasn't just in any place in the kitchen. It was right above a hot plate. Little did she know that the painting was made by 13th century painter Chimabue. This piece is known as Christ Mott, and this 10-inch by 8-inch masterpiece would have remained in the house to slowly deteriorate had it not been for the woman who decided to appraise her property. An expert saw the painting and told the woman to consult a professional. Chimabue, born around 1240 and known as Cheni de Peppo, is revered as a pivotal figure in the transition from the Byzantine to the Renaissance style in Western painting. He's believed to have been the teacher of the celebrated artist Giotto. Christ mocked is part of a diptych and is one of the few surviving works by Chimabue, adding to its immense value and rarity. Well, the simple painting was sold at auction in 2019 for a staggering 24.2 million euros, approximately $26.8 million. What's even more surprising is that it was sold for more than four times its estimated value. The buyer was London-based dealer Fabrizio Moretti, who purchased it on behalf of two collectors. However, the French government declared the artwork a national treasure, preventing its export and giving the Louvre Museum 30 months to raise the necessary funds to purchase it. The Louvre was successful in its fundraising efforts, and the museum will now house Christ Mocked alongside other significant works, including Chimabue's Maista. This acquisition by the Louvre ensures that the painting remains in France and is accessible to the public. The elderly woman who owned the painting sadly passed away just two days after its sale, leaving her estate to her three heirs. And yes, the heirs needed to deal with taxes before getting the money. Number 16. $800,000 home with a mysterious tenant. An unusual real estate listing in Fairfax County, Virginia caught widespread attention when a house was sold with a unique caveat. It came with a squatter living in the basement. Listed for $800,000, this five-bedroom, four-bathroom home spans 3,548 square feet and was described as needing significant repairs. Some issues noted in the listing included original rotting windows, a leaking toilet, non-functional appliances, and the need for new flooring and carpeting. The estimated cost for these renovations was around $25,000. I didn't know it would be possible to sell something with a bizarre catch. 
but I guess anything's possible nowadays. This situation was explicitly mentioned in the listing, which stated that the house was being sold as is, with the acknowledgement of the person living on the lower level. Despite these challenges, the property garnered considerable interest. According to experts and realtors around the area, the Northern Virginia real estate market's strength played a role in this interest. The house received five offers and was under contract within two days of being listed. The buyers were described as knowledgeable and qualified, with potential plans to address the situation with the squatter. I guess it's still a good catch in this economy. Number 15. Rembrandt's Painting Now here's another precious painting discovered in the unlikeliest place. A long-lost Rembrandt painting was found in the basement of a home in Bloomfield, New Jersey. This extraordinary find was a significant piece by the 17th-century Dutch master artist Rembrandt van Rijn. Originally thought to be the work of an unknown 19th-century artist and valued at around $500, the painting's true worth was revealed only after it was identified as an early work by Rembrandt. This identification dramatically increased its value, eventually selling for an astonishing $1.1 million. The painting is believed to be part of a series created by Rembrandt when he was a teenage student around 1625, depicting the five senses. This painting, titled The Unconscious Patient, dates back to 1624 and is part of Rembrandt's series on the five senses. It features three figures, one of whom is swooning and is being revived by an elderly woman with a rag laden with a pungent chemical while a richly bejeweled man looks on. The discovery was so significant that it caught the attention of art dealers. After careful restoration and cleaning, an artist monogram RF was found, which stands for Rembrandt Fake It, or Made by Rembrandt. American billionaire Thomas S. Kaplan acquired the painting and then loaned it to the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles, California. Number 14. An Attic Filled with Treasure David Whitcomb, a lawyer, made a surprising discovery in a building he purchased for $100,000 in Geneva, New York. While giving a friend a tour, he noticed part of an old drop ceiling on the third floor. Where he expected to find rafters, he discovered a hidden attic filled with historical photography treasures, including a portrait of suffragist Susan B. Anthony, taken by the notable photographer James Ellery Hale. The attic, sealed off for at least 100 years, contained various historic photographs, cameras, equipment, and other items linked to Hale, who was active in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. This discovery was a step back into a significant period in photography and women's suffrage history. Whitcomb dedicated several months to the extensive task of cleaning, identifying, and restoring the collection. He cataloged over 1,000 antiques. Everyone hopes to find treasure someday, and we actually did, Whitcomb expressed about his find. In collaboration with a local auction house, the entire collection was estimated to sell for between $150,000 and $200,000. We don't know exactly how much the collection fetched, but to even get half of the estimate for something found in an attic is lucky enough. Number 13. Man Returns Home to a Jungle Imagine leaving your apartment for seven months and returning to find it transformed into a lush green botanical garden. That's precisely what happened to a man from Langfang, Hebei province in China. After being away for a while, he returned to find his apartment completely transformed. The man's apartment was overtaken by thriving green plants that had grown along the walls, ceiling, and even encompassed furniture like the TV set. The vines and plants had become so intertwined with the living space that it was barely recognizable. It seems that during his absence, he had asked his brother, who lived in the same building, to water the plants occasionally. However, the extent of the growth was beyond anyone's expectations. Perhaps there were people out there who tried their hands at planting and gardening, but always ended up with a dead plant. Well, this guy didn't even have to try to grow plants in the first place. It seems like he's just the chosen one. Number 12. Homeowner Finds Heartwarming Secret In a heartwarming discovery during a home renovation, a woman found a hidden message beneath her wallpaper. The handwritten note reading, Frankie, I love you, Pat, was a tender message from the house's previous owners. The woman who bought the house from Frankie, now in her 80s, learned that her husband Patrick had passed away a few years ago. They had spent over 45 years in the house, raising their children there. Moved by this sentimental find, the new homeowner has decided to preserve the message by wallpapering over it keeping this sweet piece of the house's history intact. Now, how sweet is this? Number 11. 
$136 million masterpiece in the attic. Imagine you're in Toulouse, France, trying to fix a leaky ceiling, and what do you find behind a sealed attic door? A massive painting, about 5 feet by 6 feet, just chilling there for who knows how long. Turns out, this isn't just any old painting. It could be a lost masterpiece by Caravaggio, one of Italy's most famous artists. This isn't a simple attic treasure, though. The painting, thought to have been painted between 1600 and 1610, depicts a scene from the Bible, Judith beheading Holofernes. It's not just the dramatic subject. The discovery has caused quite a stir. While some experts are convinced it's a genuine Caravaggio, others aren't so sure, pointing fingers at Louis Finson, a known copycat of Caravaggio's work. Real or not, this painting is no small fry. It's valued at a whopping $137 million. France even put a temporary hold on its sale, hoping a French museum might snap it up. Whether it's an authentic Caravaggio or a high-quality imitation, one thing's for sure. That's one incredible attic find. Imagine stumbling upon a small fortune while doing household repairs. Number 10. Family finds $46,000 under floorboards. Let's face it, it's great to have wealthy relatives, especially if said relative is generous. Perhaps that's why this family went to great lengths to finally put an end to a rumor. You see, in this Massachusetts family, it was said that there was a treasure in a relative's house. They almost turned the entire house upside down to find this alleged treasure, but they came up with nothing each time. So, they decided to employ the help of a real-life treasure hunter named Keith Will to explore their old family home. And what a find he made! Beneath the floorboards of the attic, Will discovered a bank lockbox stuffed with a jaw-dropping $46,000. The bills, dating back to 1934, 1935, and 1950, were neatly wrapped in $5,000 bundles, all in their original bank straps. Each strap even had a date stamp of December 19, 1958, and a teller number. All of them were complete with silver certificates in three of the bundles. The family, who had been eager to sell the house, was previously thwarted by the legend of this hidden treasure. Past searches by carpenters turned up empty, but Will's keen eye and metal detecting skills led to the spectacular discovery. The family's response? Utter shock and relief. After all, $46,000 back in 1958 was equivalent to a whopping $421,603 in 2021. For the treasure hunter, this was the most exciting find to date. And for the family, the long-standing mystery was finally put to rest with quite the profitable ending. Number 9. Utah Man Finds $45,000 in New House and Returns It In a heartwarming story from Utah, Josh Farron, upon moving into his new house, stumbled upon a remarkable discovery. In the garage attic of his new home in the Salt Lake City suburb of Bountiful, Farron found seven metal boxes filled with rolls of cash bundled with twine. The total amount? A staggering $45,000. This money had been stashed away by the previous owner, Arthur Bangerter, a biologist from the Utah Department of Fish and Game who had lived in the house for over 40 years. The discovery put Farron in a moral dilemma. He considered the many ways this unexpected windfall could benefit his family, from fixing up their car to making renovations on their new house and even adopting a child, a dream they'd harbored for years. However, Farron's strong sense of integrity won over. He expressed his belief in the importance of doing something radically honest and ridiculously awesome for someone else, a lesson he hoped to pass on to his children. Farron contacted one of Bangerter's six children, Kay Bangerter, to return the money. Kay, who had seen his father saving cash but was unaware of the amount, was touched by Farron's gesture. He regarded Farron's decision to return the money as a noble act, one that would be remembered for generations. Now, would you do the same if you were the one who stumbled upon the money? Don't worry, I won't judge you. So just let me know about your thoughts in the comments down below. Number 8. Terrifying Spiders Christmas is one of the best holidays of the entire year, and a huge part of that is a Christmas tree. But be careful what you bring home, because you don't want to be like these homeowners. A real Christmas tree may not just bring holiday cheer, but could also bring some tiny, unwelcome guests into your home. The good news is that these bugs, while possibly a surprise, are generally not a cause for concern and don't pose a threat to your home or health. A variety of bugs can hitch a ride on your Christmas tree. Common ones include aphids, spotted lanternflies, adelgids, praying mantises, and even spiders. 
These bugs might be found on trees, walls, ceilings, or near light sources in your home. For instance, canara aphids, which are large in black, gray, or brown, are commonly mistaken for ticks, but are harmless and won't infest your houseplants. Spotted lanternflies, an invasive species found mainly in the northeast and mid-Atlantic states, may lay egg masses on your tree that resemble dried mud, but they can't survive indoors due to the lack of suitable food and low humidity. Adelgids may look like white flocking on the tree, but are sedentary and harmless. Praying mantis egg masses, which look like root beer foam, might hatch indoors, but the baby mantises will not survive long. Similarly, if spider eggs hatch, the baby spiders will soon die without a food source. To prevent bringing these bugs into your home, you can't do much, but having the trees shaken at the lot might dislodge many of them. Large egg cases like those of mantises can be screened for by inspecting the tree. Smaller insects and their eggs glued to the needles and twigs are nearly impossible to spot and remove. If you do find bugs, don't panic. For aphids, a shop vacuum can be used to remove them without leaving stains. Other bugs like spiders can also be vacuumed up. It's important not to use pesticides, as the bugs will die on their own, and using chemicals inside your home is not advisable. If you don't mind, using a fake tree is also a good idea. Number 7. The Battle of San Jacinto In 2010, John Bull, the great-great-grandson of the artist H.A. McArdle, made a remarkable discovery in the attic of his family's home in Weston, West Virginia. He found a 1901 painting by McArdle depicting the Battle of San Jacinto in his great-grandfather's attic. Needless to say, it was a find he or the public didn't expect. The painting was previously unknown to the public and was considered a significant find. McArdle is known for his murals of the Texas capital, including another depiction of the Battle of San Jacinto and Dawn at the Alamo. Bull's discovery was expected to bring in $100,000 or more at an auction organized by Heritage Auction Galleries in Dallas. Number 6. Man Believes He's Being Attacked by Aliens In a peculiar incident, a man from northern Bosnia, Radovok Lahic, claimed that his house had been hit by meteorites six times since 2007. He believed that these unusual occurrences resulted from being targeted by aliens. This belief stemmed from the rarity of meteorite strikes on a specific location, especially multiple times. Lahic even set up a meteorite museum in his backyard and investigated the magnetic fields around his home to understand this phenomenon. Despite the unlikelihood of such repeated meteorite hits, Lahic was convinced of extraterrestrial involvement. Well, this is definitely a bizarre incident. Number 5. Strange Box from the Sky a homeowner recently discovered a strange box in their driveway that had fallen from the sky. The box was a downed weather balloon and radio sound, a small instrument used for gathering atmospheric data. This equipment, part of the NOAA National Weather Service's tools for weather forecasting and research, is designed to be harmless. It typically collects data for weather prediction, air pollution tracking, and climate change studies. The base of the balloon was labeled Harmless Weather Instrument, and the find excited many, including online communities where people discussed reusing the devices for amateur weather or radio projects. To provide background on this so-called Harmless Weather Instrument, it's simply a tool NOAA employs to collect crucial information about the atmosphere. These balloons carry small instruments, known as radio sons, high up into the sky. As the balloons float upward, the radio sons measure various atmospheric conditions like temperature, humidity, and wind speeds at different heights. This data helps meteorologists predict the weather and understand climate patterns. Number 4. A Dead Woman Now, if there's a surprising discovery in this video, it's definitely this one. Years ago, unidentified remains were found in the walls of a home in Houston Heights. Finally, in 2017, the remains were identified as those of Mary Cerruti the 62-year-old woman who previously lived there. The discovery was made by a renter, leading to a police investigation. Saruti, known for her solitary life with her cats and her dislike for surrounding development, seemingly fell through a floorboard in her attic, becoming trapped. Despite no evidence of trauma or foul play, the exact circumstances of her death remain unclear. Her neighbor expressed skepticism about the police's conclusion and felt that further investigation was necessary. The case, however, has been closed, with the death labeled an accident. This resolution leaves some questions unanswered, but it provides a form of closure for those who know her. Number 3. 
Spooky Basement A man named Josh Pratt made an intriguing discovery in the basement of a 170-year-old house. A bizarre swimming pool, or at least that's what it looked like for many on the internet. Many joked that this bizarre elevated pool was a ritual tub used by the past homeowners, or a ghostly bath. The mystery deepened when Josh and his partner found other similar structures in their basement. Needless to say, they were pretty spooked. But, as it turned out, these alleged pools for ghosts turned out to be part of history. In the end, the two new homeowners discovered that the containers were formerly used as part of a cistern, a structure designed to store and manage water, especially rainwater. Well, that's a bit anticlimactic, but I'm sure they heaved a sigh of relief when they found out it's not connected to ghosts. Number 2. Treasure Under the Farmhouse Stairs Now this is the surprising story of a Redditor, which we'll refer to as John. In the late 70s or early 80s, John's grandparents purchased a farmhouse in rural Tennessee. The house had been abandoned for years until he inherited it and started preparing it for sale. During the renovation, he made a surprising discovery under an old carpet in a closet beneath the stairs, a hidden safe. Unable to open the safe himself, John called in a locksmith who managed to unlock it. Inside, he found various items, including rare coins, watches, jewelry, silver bars, and stacks of soggy money, believed to be damaged by a burst pipe in the house. Among the finds were also some valuable bar notes, signed by Joseph W. Barr, the Secretary of the Treasury, during the last 30 days of 1968, which are highly prized by collectors due to their rarity. John also discovered another safe hidden in a coffee table containing his grandfather's collection of old guns. The total value of the items in both safes were estimated to be tens of thousands of dollars. The discovery not only turned out to be financially valuable, but also a sentimental connection to his late grandparents, giving him a chance to uncover a part of their life and interests. Number 1. An Expensive Old Blanket Sometimes miracles do happen. You can call it fate, you can call it destiny, but sometimes life finds a way to help those in need. Take the story of Lauren Kritzer as an example. Lauren is a California man living on disability checks. He was hopeless. But well, he found another way. Or rather, life gave him a chance in the form of an old blanket. The blanket, which his grandmother used to cover the ground for her cat's kittens, was a valuable item. Kritzer, who had been struggling financially since a 2007 car accident that led to the amputation of his left foot, had been living in a shack and sent his children to live with their grandparents due to his financial situation. But as it turns out, this old blanket is worth $1.5 million. Yes, you heard that right. Thanks to a show, Lauren got an idea that the blanket just might be expensive. He tried his luck, and it turned out to be the real deal. Well, these discoveries sure give me hope that there's something precious hidden in my house. Who knows? If you have a precious find like these guys, feel free to share them in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.